Idaho is home to some of the West's most dramatic waterscapes. The Panhandle region's glacier-fed lakes stretch for miles like great freshwater seas, framed in greenery by the North Woods. Granite peaks of the Central Mountains stand guard over pristine lakes, crystal clear creeks, and the Salmon River, the nation's longest free-flowing river contained within one state. In the arid south, desert springs spill from steep canyon walls. In wet years, crowds gather in the midst of a natural wonder higher than Niagara, when Shoshone Falls is returned to glory. Idaho water is also essential to our economy. We are measuring the stream flow here on Redfish Lake Creek with our acoustic Doppler channel profiler. The men and women of the Idaho Department of Water Resources manage and protect this most precious resource. To be able to come out and try and optimize the way we use water and in hopes that uh, we can fulfill the needs of the water users and also provide benefit to the fish is uh, a dream come true for me to be able to be involved with. Idaho citizens depend on IDWR for a key aspect of public safety. The agency conducts regular inspections of nearly 550 dams throughout the state, from the high concrete monoliths to small earthen structures barely noticeable. The one that we're presently at is a low risk dam and it's uh, categorized as a small dam as well. Safety of Dams Inspector Ryan Madsen works in eastern Idaho, where the remnants of one particular federal dam stand as a constant reminder of the awesome responsibility he and his colleagues share. Teton Dams, a few miles downstream from here. And there were lives lost when that dam failed. We have to keep the public in mind and their safety. There's dams that are categorized as high risk and large dams that, you know, their potential for loss of life is, is, is real. Idaho water nourishes our livelihoods and our souls. Our water provides recreation that is both world-renowned and highly varied. Uh, a little more than a third of an ounce of gold third of an ounce after how long? Eight days. <laughs> Was it worth it? Only for the fun of it. We didn't make any money. But there's a few nuggets in there. Well, get the rec site reclamation done and we're good. For over 30 years, Irv Ballou, head of IDWR's stream channel protection team, has worked to ensure Idaho's rivers and streams are protected. As far as myself, I've uh, without a doubt had the best job in the department. I have a, a, a an interest, a passion in, in resource protection. Uh, a long time ago I realized we were losing too much too fast uh, and uh, that they, when the Stream Protection Act was passed it, it was immediately something that I, I knew I wanted to do. Work that often utilizes highly advanced technology both in the field. This display shows the average velocity and the discharge we've, we've measured up to this point and the bottom depth. And in the office. On this monitor here we have a mosaic of raw Landsat images. Images IDWR uses to compute water that has evaporated from soil and transpired from plants. Images captured by satellite. So this here is the evapotranspiration error data that corresponds to this raw satellite image here. The darker the green areas uh, especially in where the land is being irrigated shows where there's more water being used to irrigate those crops. Data that not only helps IDWR compute and map water usage today but can also help local communities prepare for tomorrow. You can see here that we have new subdivisions on this graph and we also have irrigated cropland and this graph shows that irrigated cropland uses more water than new subdivisions. Hmm. So that information is useful planners that want to project how much water will be used in the future. I think actually in this case we're ahead of the cutting edge. <laughs> Indeed, 
IDWR broke new ground with this technology, which came about with help from a grant from NASA. Well, it is unique in the sense that there is no other state agency that uses uh, an evapotranspiration model that's capable of running it. And indeed, um, I don't believe any federal natural resource or water management agency runs an evapotranspiration model. This is a critical time in Idaho water administration, meaning it is also a challenging time for IDWR. It's filled with a lot of great people that have been around for a long time, so there's people that you can definitely learn from, and it's a department that's trying to do great things. Great things in what we believe is the most scenic and environmentally diverse state in the country. I think we're making a difference uh, with everything that we do in the department, all of the programs. Um, uh, it's worthwhile. We, we care about the environment. We care about the, the groundwater and the natural resources. And um, I think we make a difference. It doesn't get much better than this. Occasionally, you have to go back to the hard walls. Uh, but uh, I, I really say my, uh, the window of my office is the windshield of my pickup. The best part for me about uh, my job and working in, in the northern region is, is right here. It's the water. It's fishing, recreation, um, and more fishing. But uh, <laughs> it's the beauty of it that, that has kept me here for 18 years. This is where I found home.